open your Bible to Psalms 100 verses 1 to 2. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Give us light and strength to know your will, to make it our own, to live it in our lives. Guide us by your wisdom, pour out your love for us. Support us by your power, for you are God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
yo, 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 yo. Our scripture reading is found at the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me.
bless you. Good morning, children. How are you today? Yes, very good. We are all fine. Children, nakikita niyo ba itong nasa paligid ni teacher? Anong tawag dito? Tama. Ito ay mga map. At saan daw po ginagamit yung map? Tama. Ginagamit ang map tuwing maghahanap tayo ng isang lugar para hindi tayo naliligaw. Di ba kapag ka, nagtitreasure hunt tayo, minsan kailangan din natin ng map para alam natin kung saan makikita yung treasure. Di ba yung mga pirate? Karamihan, gumagamit sila ng map para makita nila yung treasure na gusto nilang makita. So, ngayon, children, meron tayong bagong story for today. Pero bago yan, ano nga ba yung ating memory verse kanina na binasa ni teacher? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So, John 14.6 O sige, ngayon, children, Manood tayo sa story natin para malaman natin ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng ating memory verse o ng ating scripture for today. Ready na ba kayong lahat? O sige, i-ready na natin yung ating mga eyes, yung ating mga ears, and be quiet muna. Okay? Sige, let us watch this. In God's true book, the Bible, Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about himself. They all start with the words, I am. Here is the sixth picture. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God is amazing. He made the stars and the planets. He made the world and everything in it, including you and me. God made us to be with him. But because we chose to walk away from him, God's true book, tells us it is like being lost. I got lost once. It was really scary. All I wanted was to be back with my dad again. And that is what life is like now. We need to be back with God again. We need to not be lost anymore. Now, I'm going to draw you something. Can you tell me what this is? Any guesses? That's right, it's a map. Sometimes, People use maps to get to places. Pirates use it to get to treasure. Weather people use maps to explain the weather, and I use maps when I go out driving. Maps are really important. When Jesus says he is the way, it's like he's saying he is the map. He is the only place we can go to get to God. But what if the map lied? What about if it told me to turn left? instead of right. What if my map lied? That would be a really big problem. But Jesus says that he is the map that tells the truth. When someone tells the truth, we can trust them, can't we? That is what Jesus means when he says he is the way and the truth. But what about the life? Imagine that at the end of your map, you were going to find the best treasure everything you ever wanted. It was going to make you so happy. That is what Jesus means by life. When we say sorry to God, we believe in Jesus and follow him as our king, then we become part of God's amazing family. And that is a family that we get to be with forever. That is good news. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Now, I wonder if today, to help you remember this, you could make your own map, maybe of where you live. Make sure to put some nice treasure at the end of the route to help remind you that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, and that no one gets to God except through him. Hey, children, I just want to be story natin for today. Ang sabi doon, ang tunay na map natin sa buhay ay si Jesus sapagkat si Jesus lang yung magtuturo sa atin kung ano yung dapat natin gagawin para magstay connected tayo kay God, di ba? At sabi doon sa story natin, wala tayong ibang pwedeng takbuhan kapag meron tayong iisipin, meron tayong gustong tanungin, hindi yung computer natin, hindi yung mga cellphones natin kundi si 
Jesus. Paano daw natin tatakbuhan si Jesus at gagawin ma? Lagi tayo mananalangin at lagi magbabasa ng Bible. Kasi tiyuri, napakahalaga na lagi natin naalala si Jesus sa buhay natin. Kasi lahat ng tama nating magagawa ay siya ang magtuturo para sa atin. Diba tiyuri? Kapag ka meron tayong iniisip na mahirap na bagay na gagawin, sino yung pwede natin hihan ng tulong? si Jesus para hindi tayo mahirapan. Kapag meron tayong uh, gustong itanong tungkol sa kung tama ba to or mali, syempre si Jesus lang yung tatanungin natin. ba? Diba? At paano natin gagawin ngayon? Tama, magbasa ng Bible kasi doon nakasulat lahat ng sinasabi ni Jesus kung ano yung dapat natin gagawin bilang mga bata at para lumaki tayong mabubuting bata. Sino daw yung ating uh, the way, the truth, and the life yung nagtuturo ng tamang daan, ng katotohanan, at ng magandang buhay Si Jesus. Kasi sabi din sa scripture natin, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. At sino daw yung magdadala sa atin sa ating uh, God, kay Father God? Si Jesus. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him. So, lagi natin bitbitin sa heart natin yung map natin. At bitbitin natin sino yung map na yon Si Jesus. Ilagay sa heart natin para hindi tayo maliligaw ng landas at hindi tayo makagawa ng pagkakamali sapagkat i-remind tayo palagi ni Jesus sa lahat ng bagay. Okay ba yun mga bata? O sige, paalam! Hold our hands. Let's close our eyes for our closing prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you po sapagkat kayo po yung nagtuturo sa amin ng tamang daan kung paano po lumaki na mabubuting bata. At sana po patuloy kami mag-stay connected sa iyo sa pamagitan ng pag-pray namin at pag-read namin ng Bible. At 
Patuloy mo po kaming ingatan sa araw-araw at lagi ka pong sumama sa amin sa lahat ng aming ginagawa. In Jesus' name.